We're coming to you from Athletes Unlimited Arena at Sports Center Las Vegas, where 44 of the world's best basketball players have come together to compete over the next five weeks. Taj, you said you were meeting me at 7. I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I think that's my thing. It's like, I'm just like, how do I get, how do I get someone to put me in for longer than it? It's like, that's what I'm struggling. Well, I'm not struggling with it because I'm, I'm, I'm ready for whenever it comes. I'm not like dwelling on it, but I'm just like, you, I mean, you well, saw I how we played like in the second. Know, you know what you can do. Yeah. Um, they wasn't at the trial. Yeah. So they don't know. What else can they go off? Yeah. You just need that one team, that one week where they believe in me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then, then they, then everybody. All right, goes. Captain. I'm serious. I know. I'm saying. Oh, yeah. All right, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taj. Good luck tonight. My mentality, like the first week, was like, you know what? Like these players, most of them have, well, all of them have had a lot more of a professional career than I have. But now I've also like seen a week and a half of the basketball here. And like, I know I can hang. So I think my mindset is shifting a little from, wow, I'm just like happy to be here. I'll get you a water bottle to like, no, put me in. I can like help um, and have an impact. And so that's why we're out here this morning just trying to stay ready for when I get my shot. So Jojo, how do you feel about today's game? <laughs> you know, it seems to be that by the Saturday, people are more willing to put subs in. Um, and I think our subs delivered today, and I'm, I mean, I'm glad I was one of them. I'm, I'm hoping the draft goes a little better tomorrow now that people know I can play basketball. I'm gonna like step outside of my humble bubble for a second. like. For me, it's looking up in the stands when the game starts and I get to see JoJo. That's just like the moment for me. But like, I still have that same DNA that like has a gold medal and was an All-American and was a two-sport athlete in college and was conference most improved player. Like, that's still me. I set a goal and like, it's what I wanted and I don't blame anybody, right? Like you go with what you know, who you trust, and you know, nobody knew me. I mean, hey, I tell Dan every morning when I wake up on a game day that I'm gonna have a double-double tonight. So we'll see if that happens tonight. But um, I would say my concern is that my professional career, you know, is over before it really even starts. Second team foul. Number 17, Becca Watt Taylor checks in for kind of crazy that it's over. I mean, there were times like during this where I kept thinking to myself, oh, am I like wasting our time? And I don't think it was a waste of my time, but I'm like, this is my family's time too. Am I being selfish being here? And I'm hoping that it's a way that I can encourage my daughter. I just want her to know like, if you have a dream, it's not crazy, go for it. And I think, you know, our family is where we're supposed to be and we made the most of it and, and that's a good feeling in regards to, you know, opportunity and will my professional career be longer than six weeks? I don't know. 
Becca Juan Taylor, just doing some incredible things. Dual sport athlete, a new mom, and she's out here getting it done with Athletes Unlimited. Nice big three-pointer by Becca Juan Taylor. Goodness gracious, Becca Juan Taylor lay out. Now it's a couple months out and I'm actually grateful for it. My whole life, whenever I've trained, it's just been because I love it. And these past two months is the first time I've ever kind of trained with a chip on my shoulder. I'm enjoying these past two months where like nobody sees what I'm doing. And that's fine with me because like next time someone does see me, um, it's, I'm gonna be different because I'm giving myself one more year to get my foot in the door in the WNBA somehow.